the what marks the charge sine and magnitude of a particle of mass 4.1.43 grams b for it to remain stationary when placed in a downward direction electric field of magnitude 660 newtons per coulomb b what is the magnitude of an electric field in which the electric force on the proton is equal to is equal in magnitude to its weight so for part a for the charged particle to be stationary the downward force of gravity must counteract with the upward force caused by the electric field therefore the summation of forces in the y direction must be equal to zero so to start our equation we must write if this is our charge here then we have the downward force of gravity which we know is equal to mg and then we have the upward force from the electric field which is below and the force we know is equal to the charge and e so now summation of forces in the y direction must be equal to we have the charge and E minus mg. Now this mg is minus because it's in the downward direction. So if we take up as positive, we have the QE as positive and the mg as being negative. And then we're being taught that the summation of forces in the y direction is equal to mass times acceleration in the y direction. But then at acceleration in the y direction is equal to zero because our particle is stationary therefore summation of forces in the y direction is equal to zero thus we can conclude that zero is equal to q e minus m g and then when we add m g to both sides we'll be having m g being equal to q in other words, we cross the mg to the other direction, but in the actual sense, we all know what we do is we add, we add mg, and we also add mg. So this mg cancels with this mg, and this side we have mg. So now, what we do here to find q, we must make q the subject of the formula. Thus, we divide the electric field on both sides, and then we are having q being equal to mg over the electric field and then this is our symbolic answer so now at this point the problem has even been solved all we have to do now is plug in the values which we already have charge being equal to mass times the gravity over the electric field. Our charge is equal to, our mass we were told is, we should have done this in the first place, but whenever you are solving a physics question, you start with your data. So we have our data there. We have our mass. Being equal to 1.43 grams, which is equal to 1.43 times 10 to the power negative 3 kgs. And also the electric field, which is equal to 660 newtons per coulomb. And that's all we need to find that because we already know our gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. So there we have our mass being equal to 1.43 times 10 to the power negative 3 kg times 9.8 over our electric field which is 660 newtons per coulomb.
plug this in our calculator, we have 1.43 times 10 to the power negative 2 times 9.8 times, yeah, that's all. We divide it by 6 east newtons per coulomb. So we are having 2.6. Power negative five, and then we know charge is in coulombs, and then we have put this in three significant figures because these are the significant figures we are having in the equation. So for the sign that we must attach to this charge, we must look at the electric field that we've been given, and we have been told it's pulling downwards, and definitely we know that electric field comes from positive to negative, and so the this charge must have a force that's going to be repulsive. So the charge here must be negative so that it can repel with this force. If it were positive, it would be attracted to this one and thus the force that it would feel would only contribute to mg and not make it float. Thus we can conclude that the sign on this charge is negative. So that if it's negative there and it's negative there, this one will feel a force that's going up which is this force, and then we have the mg, that is the force by default.